Hi, I'm Power Monkey, and in this tutorial video, I'm going to be teaching you how to make this sliding door right here with a door sensor, and then the light turns green when the door is open, and then the light will go back to red when it shuts. So as you can see, it works very well. And yeah, so if you like this door, I'm going to show you how to make it. So let's just get right into the video. Alright, so the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to add a model inside our workspace and then we're going to want to insert, whoops, not a truss part, we're just going to want a regular part and let's go ahead and size it and to make sure we're getting the right dimensions I'm going to go in the plugins and build a rig and get a block rig and I'm just going to put that here so that we can see if the height is good so let's go ahead and make it like this and then move it over here maybe we can make it even bigger so that we can have really big sliding doors and then let's go ahead and move this to the top like that and let's go ahead and select all these parts by holding shift to select all the parts in the middle and let's go down to the name property and change that to frame and then we're going to duplicate this frame and then we're going to create our door so I want it to be like this and then let's make this 0.5 and let's do smooth transparency smooth plastic sorry and then this is going to be the door so we want two doors so we're going to put it right in the middle like that so maybe we could do glass and then have something like this and then maybe change it to fog and then let's add a surface GUI onto this frame right here and we can click the Adorni to the frame or you can just leave it because by default it'll do the parent as the Adorni if there is no Adorni so let's go ahead and add just a frame and then let's move this frame position 0.6 maybe and then we can do 0.2 remove the 100 offset and then let's make this one scale and zero offset and then let's go ahead and make this 0.5 transparency so like that this will be our door so like that we have just a nice little line and I don't want this outline right here so I'm going to put zero all right and then we're going to go ahead and duplicate this and we're going to put this on the back face so that we have it at the back as well and then we're going to delete this one right here we're going to call this let's call this right door and then let's duplicate it and place it over here and let's call this left door Door. I'm going to change this material to metal and we can leave it like that and then let's go ahead and duplicate this again and let's call this wall so this is going to be our wall you don't really need to do this but this is just for the example so let's leave it like that and you know what let's do it like this and we can negate the hole so the door is over here let me check where the door is okay that seems right yep okay that's the right height okay so let's make this bigger and do command shift n to negate it and then command shift g to union those two parts together and let's just change this to plastic and let's use part color and then there we go let's make our wall let's just leave it at medium stone gray so this is our door as you can see that is how our door is going to be so now we're going to want to add a sensor for our door so that the doors know when to open and close so I'm going to go ahead and add another part into this model and I'm actually going to go ahead back into the model tab select this model and click the anchor up here so that everything in the model is anchored and then let's go ahead and create the door sensor so we're going to want to maybe do something like this and make it this big and let's actually change the shape to a ball whoops 
let's change it to a ball shape so that this will be our sensor and let's just change the color to red and let's do 0.5 transparency for now and then we can make it fully transparent later so this is where we will detect when anything comes into contact with this part right here so we're going to go ahead and check can collide off for this one but we're going to leave can touch on so let me just move this dummy right here we can probably go ahead and delete that right now and then we can actually start scripting this door let's actually add one more part into this let me make this a little bit more transparent and let's call this sensor sensor and let's make this 0.75 and then let's take this and put it over here onto the door and we're going to have a light that shows when the door is being opened and when the door is closed so this is going to be our light there we go and let's do 0.05 and let's make it stick out just a little bit like this maybe even a little bit less and then we can probably make this a little bit smaller and let's make this neon and then let's keep it at red because the door is closed right now so we're going to call this light all right so this is going to be our door so let's go ahead and add a script into this model but first i'm going to rename this model sliding door before we actually do the script i actually want to change the frame to make it even more transparent so let's do 0.75 i think that'll look better like this okay so now let's go ahead and add a script into this model we're going to remove this and we're going to want to first of all let me just rename this wall so that there is no confusion and let's close this off right here so we're going to want to create a variable for both of our doors so we're going to do local left door right door let's actually do another variable first let's do local sliding door equals script dot parent and then we can do sliding door dot left door and sliding door dot right door so now we're going to want to also create another variable for our sensor and our light so we're going to do local sensor light equals sliding door dot sensor and then we're going to do sliding door dot light and we need to separate these with a comma both here when we're naming the variable and actually defining the variable so that the script knows which variable belongs to which so left door belongs to this and then there's a comma so that belongs to the right door and same with this one so now let's actually go ahead and detect when something touches the sensor so we're going to do sensor dot touched and then we're going to do connect function and we're going to do part so this is the parameter that will return when this function gets fired so whenever something touches this sensor right here this script is going to detect that and then it's going to run the code inside this function right here so first of all we're actually going to want to create another variable for whether our door is already opened or not so we're going to do local is open and we're going to make this equal to false because right now the door is shut in this function here for the touched event we're going to want to do if not is open so basically if is open is false or nil then we want to run the code over here otherwise we're just going to ignore it because the door is already opened then we're going to do is open equals true and then right at the end we're going to do is open equals false so that we can shut it but first we're going to want to open it right here so we're going to want to get the position of the door when it is open and closed but first we're going to need to get the tween service so let's go ahead and add the tween service here so let's do local tween service equals game get service tween service and then we're going to do local tween info equals tween info dot new and then we can create our tween info for when we tween the doors the first parameter is going to be how long it takes for the tween to execute 
So let's do one second and then the easing style. So we're going to do enum dot easing style dot linear. And you can pick any easing style that you want, but for sliding doors, I think it's best to leave it at linear. And then we're going to do enum dot easing direction dot in. And we're not going to want it to repeat, so we're going to do zero. So it repeats zero times and false because we don't want it to repeat. And then the delay time is going to be zero. But this doesn't matter because we're not repeating it. All right, so let's go ahead and create our tweens. So we're going to want to create four different tweens for the open tween of the left door and another open tween for the right door and then a closed for the left and right. So we're going to go over here and we're going to do local left door open tween and then we're going to do tween service create and then we're going to do left door and then we're going to put our tween information right here so we're going to do tween info because we've defined the tween information that we want over here and then we're going to do our property table so we're going to do position because that is the property that we're going to want to change and we're going to do equals and then let's do vector three dot new and then let's go ahead and get the left door position so this is the right door this is the left door so click on the left door and scroll down in the properties to position and you want to copy this so I'm doing command C and then you want to paste that over here so this is the left door closed so let's do close and let's copy and paste this over here and do the same for the right door so let's go ahead and click on that right door over here go down to the position and then copy this and then paste it over here so these are the closed positions and then select both of these and paste them over here and we're going to do open and open here as well and then we're going to want to open these so I'm going to open it probably to like here and this one as well open it over here so let's go back into our script so the left door first and let's copy the position and paste it over here and do the same with the right again copy this position and paste it over here and then I'm just going to do command Z to put the doors back in their original position now we're going to want to call on these tweens so we're going to do left door open tween and we're going to do play and then we're going to do right door open tween play so that it's going to play these tweens and the doors are going to open and then we're going to want to do wait and then let's wait three seconds so that our doors will be open for three seconds and then we're going to want to close them again so we're going to do left door close tween and we're going to do play and then we're going to do the same for the right so right door close tween and we're going to do play so if we go ahead and play this we will see so right now what is happening is that these parts are setting off this touched event so we're going to want to add another if statement first so let's do if part dot parent and then we're going to do find first child humanoid so that we know that it is a player and then we're going to do then and then we can actually run this bit of code right here like that for example if the left arm of the player touches the door sensor so we're going to do left arm dot parent and that's going to be the model of the player's character and then it's going to find uh, the humanoid of that character the script will know that it's a character and then we want to open and close the sliding door so let's go ahead and try this out so there we go and then let's go ahead and touch it and I know what happened and we need to anchor this door sensor right here so I'm going to go ahead and anchor this with alt a and then let's go back into our script and what happened is that I forgot to rename this right door so let's go ahead and for the right door tweens so right door close tween and right door open tween change this instance to the right door 
on these two. So let's go ahead and try that again. And there we go. And then after three seconds, it should close. And there we go. And then if we touch this door sensor again, it'll open. So now let me show you how to make this go green when the door is opened. And then once the door is shut, we're going to make it go red. So now let's go ahead and change our light. So let's do light dot color equals color three dot from RGB. And then we're going to do zero, 255, zero. And then after the door shuts, we're going to make it go red. So let's do zero and then 255. So let's go ahead and play. There we go, the door is going green and then the door is going to shut and there we go, it's gone red. So as you can see, it works very nicely and it's very smooth. So now we can go ahead and click our sensor and make it fully transparent because we don't want the players to be able to see the sensor. So let's see, maybe I could change this to... So there we go. All right, so now if we test the game, you will be able to see that it works perfectly fine. There we go, it's gone green. And then red, it's closing. And then green again. And then it is closing. So that is pretty cool. So we actually need to touch the sensor for it to work. So that is it for this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe and click that notification bell to be notified whenever I upload a new video. But otherwise, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.